it's our first time in Memphis, and we're starting off our day trying some of the most famous restaurants and foods that the city has to offer. First up, we have Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken. This beloved restaurant has locations all over the US, but it was started outside of Memphis by the Bonner family in the 1950s. Put on our order to go since we have the dog with us, and I don't know, they have a couple benches here, but I think that's more for people that are waiting for their to-go orders. I'm getting tired of making videos of us eating in the car, but we don't have a lot of options when we're traveling with our dog. That's fair. And they also have outdoor seating then Yeah, and also just like not wanting to eat Inside. indoors a lot yeah. much anyways. So yeah. So we got the three piece chicken tender plate with mac and cheese and greens. We got the classic chicken breast. This is the chicken that made Gus famous, right? Mmm. That was all skin that I just bit. It was good. <laughs> a little bit of chick actual chicken meat. Sounds like it has mm. a nice crunch though. It has a beautiful crunch. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of a kick to it. It's a little bit spicy. It's wonderful. Yeah, that was a nice crunch. Like it's not too thick. It's like a nice thin coating, but it's got a real good crunch and a really good flavor. It's definitely seasoned well. All right, let's actually try to get some chicken. There we go. Didn't get much actual chicken. <laughs> Oh yeah, what I love about that, my second bite was just a little bit of skin and a lot of chicken, but that flavor is throughout the whole, all the meat. That's really good flavor. Like definitely got a little kick to it and we did not bring water. <laughs> Give it a go. Good, right? It's really savory. And yeah, that skin is like super crispy, but it's also really juicy inside and there's a little bit of kick like you said But you know, you've experienced Nashville hot chicken now, so <laughs> Yeah, it's just a tasty little like hi. I'm a little spicy We've had some very good fried chicken from a lot of places and they're all different and also good This one is no exception. Yeah. All right. I want to try a chicken tender the the person that I put in an order with she told me that she prefers the chicken tenders. That's her go-to. So I'm like, all right, if it's her favorite, then I'll try it. I prefer tenders anyways, so that probably also helped. Mmm. I don't know if it's been sitting longer, if it's just slightly different. It's not quite as crispy, probably because it doesn't have the skin on it. It's not quite as crispy, doesn't have that crunch like the chicken breast did, but the flavor is so good just so savory and delicious and also like there is that like heat at the end that's pretty good like you said not quite as crispy but it's even juicier i feel like than the breast kind of that's true yeah you're right but the flavor's still really good a little bit of kick I don't know what all the herbs and stuff there are, but it's pretty darn tasty. Yeah, it's pretty herby and I like it. Shall we try some sides? I opted for um, greens and mac and cheese. That's kind of like our go-to things, I think, when we try southern and fried mm -hmm. chicken. <laughs> yeah, we go for mac and cheese and the greens, so that's what we did. Do you want to start? Okay. I'll let you start. Okay, let's start <sighs> with some greens. Oh, I see. Like some bacon or something in it already. Ooh, those are really flavorful. There is like some bacon or something in there. It's a little sweet, which I wasn't expecting. But it's got the vinegar. Looks like there's some onions in there. And I'm not sure if it's left over from the chicken, but I feel like there's a little heat, but that might just be from the chicken. But yeah, yeah that's really good. I still feel the heat of the chicken. <laughs> oh yeah. They have a, a onion in them, definitely. Mm -hmm. There's like nice onion flavor. They are a little sweet. They do have bacon, that you get that bacon flavor. Mm -hmm. They're a little different than any of the greens I've ever had before, but they're very tasty. Yeah. I enjoy them. They're very like oniony, and I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, mac, mac and cheese. Up. Gonna mac it up. I like that they dusted it with paprika. I am a big fan of paprika. 
Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's really cheesy. It's very cheddar-y. It reminds me a little bit, it's fairly similar to Pascal's in Atlanta. Um, it's just like got a pack and a punch of cheese. Mmm, okay. It's really cheesy, creamy. Is it horrible to say it sort of reminds me of like the Stouffer's mac and cheese, but better? Uh, like the consistency's got that, but the flavor's way better. Yeah, I agree. I feel like a lot of the mac and cheeses that we we try that are southern food kind of remind me of that like store-bought like deli kind of mac and cheese, but they're all like 10 times better. And yeah. this is also... It's just like that perfect cre creamy consistency that you would expect from like one of those frozen or deli mac and cheeses, but it has better flavor. Yeah, it definitely packs a cheddar punch. Our next stop is Memphis's oldest cafe, the Arcade Restaurant. This diner has been around since 1919 and it was frequented by Elvis in the 50s. And he even had a go-to booth in the back by the door so he could easily duck out if he got mobbed by fans. They're so sweet here. They, they, their patio is closed so they, they set us up a little table outside mm -hmm. so that, so that Carly could come along. Well, we tried to order the famous Elvis sandwich, the peanut butter and banana sandwich that they are known for, but unfortunately they ran out of bananas, so we got the next best thing. This is the Memphis thing. It has smoked turkey, brie, red onion, it normally has red peppers, and uh, a Creole mustard, which we got on the side. And those are the bacon cheese fries. I'm honestly pretty sad that we're not able to try the uh, the fried peanut butter and banana sandwich, but we'll, we'll give this one a whirl. That's actually really good. The smoked turkey is excellent, and that brie makes it nice and creamy, and this, the bread is super soft. Dang, those bacon cheese fries are legit. Like, so cheesy. The bacon is cooked perfectly. They, they're definitely good at diner food here. It's sad that the thing they're famous for, we couldn't get because they ran out of bananas. Yeah. I guess that just gives us a reason to come back here because I definitely want to try that sandwich. If you have had the peanut butter and banana sandwich from here, please let us know. Is it worth coming back for? I am full from the food that we have eaten so far. So we're gonna take a little stroll around Memphis. We made a stop here at the Lorraine Mattel and the National Civil Rights Museum. The museum itself is not dog friendly, but she is allowed here on the grounds of the Lorraine Motel. This motel was the site of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination in 1968. It has been preserved as it was at this time, and the motel is now a part of the National Civil Rights Museum here. That was really powerful. It's just kind of intense to be in a place where such a heavy incident happened. Mm -hmm. But it's also really interesting. I'm glad we went. I hope we can come back sometime without the dog and go through the actual museum. Same. It feels kind of ridiculous to segue now to eating more food, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get some barbecue. This is Central Barbecue. You can't do a Memphis food tour without some barbecue. And with four locations in the area, this is one of the most popular places to get it. So the Memphis barbecue is usually known for being sweet and tangy, but they also have some interesting things like barbecued spaghetti. Today, we're trying the beef brisket nachos, uh, the meat and cheese platter, that is sometimes referred to as Memphis sushi, and chips and blue cheese. What are you gonna start with? I'm gonna start with chips and blue cheese. Just 
Just chips and blue cheese, and that does it for you, huh? <laughs> it's really good blue cheese. I think that they probably fry the chips here too, or they're really fancy chips, but that's some funky cheese, but I'm down for it. That is some stinky blue cheese, and I like it. <laughs> Those are good. They're really different to me than the ones that we had in Nashville. Flavor is different, sauce is different, but still has got the cheese. I think we got pork there and this is brisket, but the sauce is tangy and how can you go wrong with all that cheese? So I'm, I'm happy with that too. Yeah, I'm not sure which ones I like more, but they're different, but they're both really good. Yeah, that that brisket is like super flavorful. It's got like a nice rub on it. That it's sauce tender. That sauce is so tangy and delicious. I love that barbecue sauce. That's some of the best barbecue sauce I've had. Okay. Yeah, that is like a honey mustard kind of barbecue sauce. And the sausages have been heated up in some way. Maybe they're pan fried, like you said. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's nice. It's, it is kind of southern charcuterie, but I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna make a cracker one. I don't think I need the sauce yet. That is delicious. We should eat saltine crackers with like sausage and cheese all the time. <laughs> you know how when you go to a Mexican restaurant and they have like the fresh chips and salsa? I think they actually make their own chips. Like they're nice and crispy and they just have that, that look and feel to them. Impressive <laughs> for barbecue boys especially. We got here just in time. There is a, a line down the block of people waiting to put in their order. <sighs> I am so full, but we still have one stop left. Oof. We have one last stop to make, and that is for some donuts. Gibson seems to always make the best foods in Memphis lists. With a variety of cake and yeast donuts, you will probably be pleased with whatever you get, but we've been told that the old fashioned and the original glazed are the two best ones you should try. So, you know, we got a, uh, we got the glazed and the old fashioned, but we got a few others. We got the maple bacon, the red velvet, and then this is in New Orleans. The girl working said this is her favorite. Whenever somebody that works at the establishment tells me what their favorite thing is, it always makes me want to try it. I'm always intrigued by what they like about it. So we're gonna try that one too. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the old fashioned. Mmm, that is a wonderful old fashioned. It's super moist and soft but it has that crisp glaze on the outside. Yum. I'm gonna try the old fashioned. That's really nice. It's like a solid, good cake donut. Um, I tend to like the yeast, like the rice donuts a little more, but this is buttery and has that nice, like you said, a little crunch from the uh, glaze. Yeah, that's a totally good cake donut. Looks like a standard original glaze. And yet tastes like a light fluffy heaven in my mouth. Yeah, that's a really fantastic donut too. Pretty simple, but really, really well done. Nice, fluffy, light, and just that like hint of lovely icing on the side or the top or around it. Okay, yeah. That's a really good, I mean, it's just your standard issue glaze, but just done really well. It's light, the glaze is nice and sweet. 
It's a little buttery, kind of, I'm not sure, yeah. It's got that kind of little yeasty because it's a yeast donut taste, but yeah, it's good. I like that too. So the maple bacon is really good. Um, it's kind of smoky, mapley, bacon's chewy. It's interesting, I feel like more people or places have started doing the chopped bacon on top of it. Maybe that's just because you get more coverage with all the bacon, but it's a really nice, salty, sweet maple bacon donut. Yeah, it's interesting because like Jeremy was saying, it seems like the more, the more that we see maple bacon donuts, the more that they kind of have this look to them. They don't just have like pieces of bacon on them anymore, which is not a bad thing. Mm. That is a good smoky bacon. However, I feel like the bacon is almost overpowering. Like I love a good maple and I don't taste the maple a lot with this one, but it's still a good donut. The bacon is still really good and the donut is like a light, fluffy, lovely donut. It's got that cake donut density. It's a little heavier. It's got that cream cheese icing on top. That looks like a good red velvet. Yep, I think you're gonna be happy with that one. That uh, cream cheese icing is really good. You get that uh, light bit of cocoa that you get from a red velvet. And yeah, that's just really tasty. I don't know. Am I gonna like the red velvet? I don't know. I'm like always on the fence about red velvet things because I love red velvet, but a lot of things do red velvet wrong. So, does Gibson's do it right? Yes. They do. <laughs> mm hmm Oh my gosh, yeah. That's not like a donut glaze, that's like a straight up cream cheese frosting. That's mm -hmm. delicious. This donut is very like cakey and moist and very rich in the flavor of red velvet. I feel like sometimes when people do red velvet, it's either dry or not like really flavorful in the way that I love that red velvet with the cream cheese. Gibson's does like a perfect red velvet donut. I would have to say this is the only time I've found a red velvet donut that I've liked. So good job, Gibsons. This one is really interesting. It's got a very dense cakey inside. A little bit of crunch on the outside layer, it looks like. Looks pretty crumbly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. You can tell that that has the buttermilk in it. It's got a different flavor. It's got a little tang to it, but uh, yeah. Still that really good icing that's on all of them, the glaze. Um, cakey and dense on the inside, but that even a little crunchier on the outside than I feel like the other donuts are. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. It's a little bit different. Mm. Wow. That is a freaking perfect donut. It's like a giant donut hole, but better. Are, are donut holes buttermilk donuts? Is that why they have that shape? I don't know. The inside tastes like a light fluffy pound cake. Like it's kind of dense, but it's also still really like light and fluffy, but it's so good. It's got kind of like a, yeah, like a creamy, it tastes like pound cake. It's like buttery and it has this like beautiful crusty edge with the glaze. It's, it's wonderful. This is my favorite one. So good. So we had a good first full day here in Memphis. We did. We have so much more planned for tomorrow though and so much more food to eat. <laughs> not, not a ton. I mean, we gotta start with the donuts for breakfast, but we are also going to a restaurant that was formerly the salon where Priscilla Presley got her hair done and I'm really excited about that among some other things. So stay tuned for that. Thanks to our patrons. We appreciate you guys for supporting us. And, you know, subscribe and check out the video that's over there. Or, or that one. Or something. Videos. Videos. We'll see you soon. Bye.